Yeah, I missed my deadline. Oh, when Patrick comes on, he'll see. <laughs> Hello. Okay, Jason, hi. Black with lightning on it and a cross. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Hey, Terry. Ooh. Hi, hi, Jen. Hi. How you doing? Good. All righty. So what's this idiot doing covering for goose? Well, I'm going to tell you why I'm covering for goose. Hey, AKW. Um, I don't know if it's highlighted or not. I don't know if that works. I'm going to do that. I'll put a star there. Um. Let's get some prayers out for Cody. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail, but Cody is currently in the hospital in need of surgery. Um, I'm not going to say much more than that because I left that up to Charlie and Melissa. Cody's like my little brother. Um, I have really strong faith that he's going to make, he's going to be just fine. And uh, let's keep him up in your prayers, please. The whole entire Widener family. Uh, it's been a rough year for them. I told them to keep that door shut. And it, you know what, Trey, I need to. I know you know why, Jason. So do I. Um, I'm not going to go into details just in case Goose or Cody or whomever doesn't want me to. So. I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, if Corey, we're going to change subject. If Corey shows up here tonight, and if anybody has his number, they better get a hold of him. Because I ain't going to do it without him. Yep. Yeah. I got that, too. If Corey shows up, we'll tie treble hooks for this bait. That's for Corey. Plumpaholic. So. Give me a second here. Okay. So, I guess we're going to just go, I just grabbed some random things. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, jig heads painted blue, red, or white <laughs> at the time. Please forgive me. Uh, but, hey, we'll take a look at a patriotic lord. Okay? Um, I have a feeling Patrick will be on here in a second. So, dang it, I forgot to turn that light on. Anyway, see, you didn't see today's short that I did. I have no idea what I'm going to tie this. First, we're going to tie this little 116th ounce. Anyway, if you didn't see today's short, this is what was on it. All the epoxy stride and everything. Marka. Mac Orch. This is not the Valor pattern. There is no gold to it. Not even in the epoxy glitter. I use multiple types of silver, red, and blue glitter to put over it. My goal is trying to make it a little, look a little bit like fireworks. And it worked. I, thanks go to Patrick for that. This bait will be going into the 200 subscriber box. So, and thank you. 200 subscriber box is going to be eligible. I think I'm going to make it eligible for almost anybody. So, uh, even if you live north, above, I mean, out of the country, 
uh, of the United States. I'll make it available to you also. You're just going to have to uh, pay the shipping, but I'll send uh, everything else will be free. But it's only if you win and you're outside of the country because it's going to be a loaded box. Check it out, Fred. I don't know if you saw this today. Murka Magwort. So there's that pretty thing. Oh, sorry, I just had to adjust my vice. We'll try something a little different here. Is everybody okay with? Uh, well, hang on, let's take a look at the jig head first, right? Right. And uh, if Corey don't show up by the time I'm done tying this one, I'm ready to tie something else. We'll tie this guy instead. Mm. So, or maybe we'll do everything. Who knows? Oh. So anyway, you see this little itty bitty purple Jake head. I should have shared it to you before I put it in the vice. I do apologize. So, Cheyenne, grab me one of my liquid refreshments, please. So anyway, who feels like a pink zebra? Pink zebra, okay with everybody? I thought so. Cheyenne, and they didn't ask you to open it for me. Bless you, honey. So how's everybody's 4th of July going? We had fireworks here uh, July 1st in our town. <laughs> That's a monster, Jason. No, you're not allowed to have one. I won't let you. <laughs> the cool thing about this is using two feathers at a shot, they come clipped. And when you're done tying them on, you just go. Let's see now. Whereabouts do I want these? Is it very different than last year out there? What's going on, Chris? How you doing, buddy? Chris, I'm going to be honest with you about something. I don't know if Goose really tells you, but I'm going to tell you. Thanks, man. I actually do miss you, Chris. You may be the butt of Melissa's jokes sometimes, but I miss you. Oh, that's right. You're working. Oh, yeah. I don't envy you today. I should probably should have made that shorter. Oh, well. Don't worry, Chris. When you weren't around, when we, I was down there at the lake, I took over for you. I was the butt of her jokes, too. Big old meanie. Heck, she made a hot pepper seed coming out of my nose. How rude is that? Which I don't care how much of a chili head you are, like me, it hurts. If somebody makes you laugh that bad. And it was a joke about the Viagra cake, they, the big blue pill cake they did for Goose, and I laughed. And <laughs> Yep, we all miss you, Chris. Love you very much. See? And we got an old... I guess we'll add a little bit of gold flash. Yeah, gold. Pink. Jen, can you turn that light on, please? We're get the nose tickles early. Oh, I know he's a good person. i tell you one thing. You know, when I went down there, 
you know, I knew, unfortunately, I wasn't going to see uh, you, Jason. Uh, but my goal was like, okay, I'm going to see this person, that person, the other. You know, my goal was good fishing with uh, everyone. And I got that. Uh, I got that dream, you know. I got to go fishing with Chris because he's an important guy to me, whether he realizes it or not. You know, I got to go fishing with Amanda and Brandon. So, hey, Amy. Oh, yeah. You tell him, Fred. Fred made some incredible Wahoo baits that he was really nervous about wor working. They crushed the Wahoo. He made a wooden flag today. Awesome. I kind of guilt tripped. I ain't going to lie. Um, I guilt tripped Chris into fishing with me when, <laughs> when I was down there. It's like, come on. I don't know if I'll ever be back down here to go fishing with you again. <laughs> What I knew dang well in my heart, I'll be back. I got him to go fishing with me. Okay. The heck? Ah, you got... A little bit of the magic sauce. And now I'm not talking about moonshine. Oh, got a little bit on the head there. That's all right. <laughs> Be careful, Amy. No wooden boats. You would think it would learn me, but it doesn't. <laughs> kind of like me sticking my hand in a muskie's mouth. I never learned. I only got one scar from it, and that was on my, that's on my jacked up hand anyway. So. Well, I got that scar before it was jacked up anyway, so. So, oh, heck, if I'll get back on the splinter barge. All right, hang <sighs> Such tiny jigs. Really, really simple little guy, isn't he? I know it's a little long, but no, oh well. What do y'all think? Purple head, little red dot for an eye. I like it. If you don't, that's okay. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be a little nervous to be back on a, that splinter barge anyway. For those of you who don't know what the splinter barge is, it's a, a wooden boat that her dad made, and it sank recently and it, it, by uh, Guntersville Dam, and uh, praise God, Amy and her daddy are alive. All thanks and praise and glory go to God for that one. All right, now we're going to switch over to Red Thread. Give me a moment. This is not easy to do when the fan's blowing. No jokes, Amy. My spring is too long. 
string thread, whatever the heck you want to call it. Ah. You monkey uncle. I'm having technical difficulties. It's all Amy's fault. How is it Amy's fault? It just is. She wants to know if you found anything about Huh? She wants to know if you found anything about Poopy. Yeah, but I'm not sharing it right now because I'm going to let that up to Goose and Melissa or Cody. I don't know if I should share anything or not. So, I'm sorry. Sharks. Yeah, you're a monkey's aunt. What? Until the Cory comes on. The Cory comes on, we're going to do his war bonnet. Right now, I guess we're just going to switch over to this. Color shifty. Hang on. Yeah, I know the eyes suck on it, but hey, eh, they say glow. Come on, shift you moron. That kind of is. Okay. Purple, green, blue. She says she's a monkey's aunt. She just looks like one. Just give me a hard time, Amy. Peacock? I ain't used peacock in a long time. I'm going to put that black flash on first. Maybe a little green. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's just go with it. I like this black flash, holographic flash, so dang much. It's, I gotta control myself. <laughs> Hang on a second, please. Okay, I'm back. Why are you talking, Amy? Right. Yeah, anyway, let's do the peacock first, huh? Okay. Uh, sorry about that, folks. I'm losing my peacock. That sounded wrong, but... I know, Amy, I'm still messing with you. She didn't need to tell me that. I know she does. I'm proud of her for attempting to be nice. Uh, 
as well just on the bottom. We'll trim some of that. Or a lot of that. Whatever. Wait, what? Well, yeah, a man can't shoot a baby out of his dinghy. That's a woman's job, not a man. Oh, that sounded wrong. But you know what I mean. How would a man possibly do that? Science can only go so far. <laughs> that person's an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, it is kind of funny to me, too. You're so mean for being right. <laughs> Man, I'm glad I can't shoot a baby out of my ding a -ling. And can't get my, you know, friend that comes around once in a while. He met, I mean, men are weaker than women. Look how we get when we're sick. We whine and we cry, oh, honey, take care of me. I got a splinter or whatever, right? Not every man, but a lot of men are like that. I'll admit it, I am. I, I don't know, but anyway. I do it without even thinking. Now, can you imagine a man that would get, you know, a friend every month. That's what I'm saying. And then a man having to give birth and shoot to something the size of a watermelon out of his ding dong. I mean, come on. A man can't handle that. So I think we can all pretty much agree, Amy, that we agree with you. <laughs> Amy, it's over. The Fourth of July, come on. Oh, that's pretty mixed together. All right, now we're gonna get one piece of black marabou and put it on top of there. As soon as I'm able to put this away. Corey must be busy. Well, it is the fourth. Darn it. Maybe we'll just have to tie the tie for Corey anyway. Okay, Amy.
That's a good bait. That you came up with. All right. Don't have it too balked up, so. And one more for good measure. You know what? I got the stuff out to make Corey's war bonnet. I think I'll just do it. Okay, Amy. Don't say anything that's going to get people to stop watching me. I get it. I know, I know. <laughs> You know where I stand on stuff like that, too, so. Oh, I know. Yeah, you're being, she's being so nice, isn't she, Jen? Actually, huh. if Corey shows up, I'll do, I'll do a giveaway. I'll give away that mag war tonight. But he's got to show up. Ah, why'd I do that? Oh, well, I'm going to smell like a dresser, hairdresser. So I can always pay another one, put it in uh, 200 bucks. Could she please shut the Fart up. <laughs> All right. Easy breezy, beautiful cover squirrel. Ah, it's not as good as I wanted it. I wanted it thinned out a bit. Probably taking care of a boat. But there we go. Yeah. Works killer because everybody's going up on the freaking river to watch fireworks. He's working those locks like a madman. Okay. Oh, this. Yeah, it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. Now I'm looking at it closer. Matter of fact, this is rather shaky. Pardon my language. So. Oh, well. It'll catch a fish. Just I ain't sending it to anybody because this thing. Yeah, made a few skippers, you know. I thought I had them covered. So, oh, well. Guess it's just gonna be mine. Dang, it was, everything was going nice until I took had to look at it. All right, let's see if he saw my text. Nope. Oh, he's just busy. That's okay. That's okay.
But right now, we're going to get ready to do a Native American, American Native war bonnet on a tribal horse. It's not going to look exactly like one, but, you know, because that's, this is going on. Originally, whoop, they're right everywhere. Give me a minute. Originally, Tori came up with the idea of naming this the Warrior Bass. Do y'all remember this? I doubt it, but just in case. So this is the what we were calling the Warrior Bass. This is before I knew that there was such a thing called a Warrior Bass, an actual fish. Thank you, Alabama. So. I'm going to have to come up with something else. Maybe, a, man, a lot of my color patterns have a W on them or the word war. That's not good. Except for the war mouth. I didn't name that one. That's an actual fish. But, yeah. So I'm going to have to come up with something, uh, a pattern that's just called warrior. You did. Amy, you're the one that told me about the warrior bass, the Cahaba bass, uh, Alabama. I mean, Alabama has so many different types of bass species. The only bass species they don't have is the, well, they probably do actually, the Florida large mouth bass strain that is just now recently recognized. So, this is going out to Corey, shoal bass. Yes, I know. So, we're going to do a war bonnet on it for his tail okay by the way i've got uh tiger bass is a hybrid between a florida strain largemouth and a northern strain largemouth shut your bass that's what they say to me and terry when uh we have too much taco bell shut your bass <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to be funny. Give me a break. It's hot. Whoop your bass. <laughs> you didn't know I was on the live stream? Can I make that funny noise? Oh, she just thoroughly embarrassed herself. Trying to be funny. So. <laughs> I want a hat that says basshole on it. I really do. And we're going to do both travel hooks. Just give me a minute here. I got to find my uh, crap. Why do I always forget the name of the chenille? Chenille. That's what it's called. Chenille. Chenille. Like a girl I dated in high school with a bad attitude. I am Chanel. Sorry, honey. Just kidding. Oh my gosh, I came out so wrong. Wasn't supposed to. Honey, did you steal my Chanel? <laughs> ah. If I can't find an eye, I put an eye, should be all right. Oh. No, Amy. Ain't funny. Well, okay, it was for like five seconds. You have me paranoid for a second because I take that as an everyday medication. Wow, 
Why can I not find my chenille? Is that it? Nope. I'm sorry, peeps. Okay. Huh. Well, shoot. Watch it be in this bag. Of course it is. Found it. Amy, I like my channel. You can go ahead and go say it on yours. I'm not. I do have a half a brain cell left. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that, folks. Why did I do that? Yeah, Amy thought it was going to be funny to get me all paranoid the other day with that. I ain't saying it. Oh, well, so more than you, because I ain't going to say it. Everybody going out to see fireworks tonight? You know, most of you are on the west, in the west. Yeah. Oh, you I want to see west Okay. So we only need three colors. Brown. White and red. Well, at least you get to see. At least you get to see some of them, right? So I'll work to stick it. We're gonna start off with brown here. You know what? I'm gonna take this piece off because this is too too sparse for my liking. There we go. When's the Wrightsville, Wrightsville going off? Wrightsville is going off at uh, 9.15. We should go down to McDonald's and sit down. If I go down to the boat dock, I'm going night fishing. Okay, you can fish your own one. You sound where I want to go home. The bite is on. I ain't leaving. He'll be stuck there with me. Okay. Or we can go parking. <laughs> no, the look on your face is priceless. Why I said that. Well, Amy, it's just something you got to deal with, I guess. Hearing and seeing is two different things. Yes, I agree. What, honey? I said, speaking of fishing, you can't get my license over. Yeah, no more fishing illegal for you. <laughs> Not that you've ever done such a thing. So, all right, we've got the brown there. Part of me wants to use that, but I don't think I'm going to. So. 
So now we're going to get like a off white type of color here. I hope Corey likes this. I won't be putting it. I already said I ain't putting anything shiny on this one. Amen. It's a great day when you live in the USA. A lot of people like to complain and stuff like that, but you want to know something? Despite all the things that are going on in our country, whatever, right? We still live in the greatest nation on God's earth for now. All right, now a little bit of red. I know this isn't the gigantic war bonnet I, I wanted to do, but you know, you know, sometimes I just can't do things. I, we can't do things the way we want to do things. You know, I ain't gonna say why I can't because, yeah. Night, bud. Love you. Be careful. There, I said it again. Exactly, Jason. Testify. Well, it's easy to get in. It's easy to leave. <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing some stuff. I don't know why. I really feel like I am. You're such a brat. Well, I'm just working. Why? Well, I'm taking over. For, I took over for Goose. You know, and I wanted to get a bigger prayer chain going for Cody. I know there's some people holding out and not commenting right now. Maybe just enjoying the show or rolling their eyes. I don't know which. So, I'm going to give you all a reason to talk here in a bit. Cool? All right. There we go. I was going to have a lot of movement in the water. Um. 
I hope Corey likes it. I know it's not absolutely perfect rendition of a war bonnet. Um, hopefully he likes it. Huh? Oh, I know. Jason. Uh, Come on, Ron, what are you doing? Now this, we're just going to go with some simple uh, simio. What did I say about not using sparkly stuff? Well, that hook I wasn't. This one I am. So, if I can get that off my hand, the other one, piece. Okay. short. If it is, I won't use it. All right. Sorry. Just got to close up my face. What, honey? Yeah. Actually, I may not even do that. I don't know how to do this. I'm making sure to really cover this hook up. All right. Brown Chavonil. Yeah, maybe I should take it back down. Huh? Okay. We'll have to lock this one into place. Whoa. I'm in deep thought and concentration. Please forgive me. Ah. Okay. Now, if I'm smart, I'll take it back up here where I want it. Okay. This is... I'll try to do some overlapping here. We got a little bit of that red thread showing there. This is why. Give me a minute. Come on, idiot. There we go. Oh, no, Amy. Lay down. 
Get over to your mom or Jake. Um, what do I do? I don't have Jake's number. I don't know if I saved Betty's number or not. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, she has that monitor on her that she is about ready to have one. Her mom will get the notification. That app thing with the bracelet. Okay. Um. I don't have her mom's number. I thought I did. I had it saved. And here I don't. I was going to clear out everything. What's your mom's I don't know. I just know it's. Oh. Give me a sec here, guys. Mm. What the heck? Oh, Jake's there. Yeah, her mom, her, uh, her uh, fiance is there. Okay. Okay. Crisis averted. My mom? No, she wasn't talking. That's Jen over there. Threads. What the fart, Ron? Whatever you know. That. What the heck did I just do? See, I got myself befuddled. I am. That'll be good anyway. It's already dried. That's super glue. I'll put some of that clear stuff on it too. If I find it. Where did the idiot put it, Jen? 
you know, the thing. <sighs> All right. All right, people. I got six people in here. If I can, well, I got five people in here. If I can get up to nine, I'll do, I'll give away that, uh, I'll do a giveaway. I got seven. So, well, as soon as I get up to nine people, Invite some people. Yeah, see, you're behind. If I get out to nine people, I'll do a giveaway. Doesn't count. I'm one and a half, so. Cheyenne, stop sending me squirrel videos. No. Guys, nobody wants a free fishing board. Yeah, I know we had to go to love the. Um, I know it's tomorrow. Well, we're praying for Cody. Got a nice prayer chain going for him. I think I know how to get people in here. Give me a second, people. What did I do with the... There they are. Okay, I got everything. Once that's dry. Let's get up to nine people. And I will donate this bait. Or give away this bait, I should say. In the name of our buddy Cody. And I will also give away, how about a mystery bait that you guys don't see? So two giveaways since it's the 4th of July. But let's get up to nine. Jen invites some people. I can't. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know who you invite. Your family don't like me. <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, I know he is. He is in pain for a little while, and he just decided today to tell Goose and Melissa, and that broke my heart. So tonight we'll give away two baits in honor of Cody, our little brother from another mother. And I do mean that. He's like my little brother. Me and him send each other funny things or cool things all the time. Oh, that made that big a lot bigger. I've been on an hour already. Seriously. Ow! Tell Joyce. She'll definitely get on real quick. Ron's giving away a free lore. <laughs>
Got one here. Carl, are you on here? He's like my ninja in the background. There's Corey. Corey, 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 the man, the myth, the legend. We just finished your bait, buddy. We did a war bonnet tail. It ain't the greatest, I'm sorry. And we also did the belly treble hook for the bait that will be coming out to you. Would you like to see it? Or you want a surprise? I'm horrible at surprises. Here it is. It's not as good as I could have made it, I guess. I do apologize. The brown is in there, but the brown is so sparse. The red kind of took over everything. What do you think, Corey? How's your warrior bass? I feel bad that the war bonnet isn't as good as it could be like if I was doing it on a really big bait. But like I wanted to do an inline buzz bait for a musky size or large mouth or a inline spinner for musky size. I was really big and fluffy, really. But uh, I don't have the wire, so. I'm glad you like it, buddy. I hope you get some good use out of it. That's going to move so nice in the water. And what? And these hooks are 4X hooks. They are pretty darn stout and needle point sharp. So, careful. You ain't going to get victimized by no catfish by the, this. So, all right, Corey, I'll show you the two other jigs I tied tonight. Since you made it in. This one kind of sucks. I'm sorry. You know, but uh, it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. So, little quarter ounce got. Got some peacock in there and some other shiny mumbo jumbo. There's that. Here's one right up your alley. 16th ounce. It's a little long for a 16th ounce, I know. But here we go. Pink sparkly, pink tiger, or zebra, whatever you want to call it. Roar. <laughs> oh, yeah. I actually kind of like this one, even though I made it a little long. No need to apologize. Jen, can you give me something? Okay. I need a piece of paper. That's all I need. Oh, I mean, put it right on the back of that thing. So, we're going to get ready to do a giveaway here. Um, I need something right. Oh, right on the back of that. All right. I'm going to write down two numbers because I'm, I'm just going to. These people are always supporting me, so what should I do? One through what? One through what? I know we only got five in here, but one through 15 or? Corey. Awesome. Corey, uh, everybody only gets one guess, but Corey, I know uh, Sarai is near you, probably. Sarai can get a guess too, but since she don't, yes, giveaway time. But since she does not have a YouTube channel, you can guess for her. 
just put Soraya's number and then whatever. So first thing we are going to give away tonight, it don't have hooks on it, is this. Okay. Now let's uh, pick a number between one and fifteen and go. Only pick one number. Whoever gets closest wins. So, yeah, I'm going to give the mag work away tonight and uh, the mystery bait. Well, the more I tap on the more they're going to know what the heck that is. Well, let's see those numbers pop up. I only see three and seven. Pick a number. You can't go wrong. What's one with Soraya's number? 13, I guess. Okay. Did I say who gets closest without going over? Whoever gets closest, period, or right on it. So, all right. I ain't playing no Jeopardy or whatever. Oh, sorry, what's up? Oh, shit. <laughs> Durr. I'm going to give it. Wait. She's still watching me. She said nine. She's laying. Oh, she's laying down watching on TV. Okay. Well, good thing you're laying down, sis. Oh, goose message me. Okay, I guess everybody's done guessing. You know, I'm going to call it in five. Oh, there's Jason. Four. I guess three. Two. One. Stop guessing. Alec. Let's see. Jen, number was. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the numbers after three and seven. Corey, Corey won. Corey, it's a deep diver. Okay. All right. Did anybody say 11? They, those two would have to battle it out there for another number. Nope. All right, now we're going to give away a mystery bait. Okay, it's an unusual color. I'm not going to say what the color is. Something that's only one of is one of a kind. <laughs> Hang on, Amy. You'll have another chance. Okay, let's make this more interesting. Okay. Uh. For seven people now. Let's do Amy. No, you ain't picking yet. All right. So I didn't even pick my number. I, I can only I only have one number in my head. That's because. You know. <sighs> Amy, you're going to be disqualified. You pick a number this time. Just write it down. This way I don't get blamed. Between 1 and 15. 
I want to mute that freaking phone. Make sure you write it big enough so they can see because it's not black marker or anything. Yeah, I only have one number stuck in my head. I wasn't going to, no. Because it would be easy to pick that number. <laughs> okay. I didn't say go yet. Pick other numbers. When, I, when you see me post the word go, go. I mean, yeah. Between 1 and 15. Oh. <laughs> hey, Cody. Cody. My buddy, my man, how you? I know you're in pain, but uh, are they treating you good in there? Your mom being nice? We love you, Cody. We got a prayer chain going for you. We're going to pause on number nine real quick. Okay, Terry picked number nine. We're doing a giveaway, uh, Cody. We're just, but since you're on, we'd like to see how you're doing. My hearts are with you, buddy. My hearts and our prayers. My little brother from another mother, like I tell people. And he says she's praying for you. Yeah. Like Terry just said, hang in there, buddy. We're all praying for you. Have all of our hearts and love with you. Amy said hello. She's laying down watching. Um, we love you, man. That's that's something he came on here to say hi to us. Okay, you really know how to make me feel like a million bucks. You're in there in a hospital and in pain, and there you pop on YouTube. Hi, Ron. Oh, God bless you, Cody. All right, you guys can continue uh, guessing. Terry said nine. Amy said four. You guys can go. Jason, eight. Between one and 15, y'all got, you all can guess. Uh, we'll take Soraya and Corey's. What was Soraya's and Corey's? Three and one. Guess again, Soraya and Corey. But I didn't say go at the time. <laughs> I want to give him one more chance. Like, ah! You have no idea, Cody, how much and how special this is to me that you're actually here to say hi. Even if it was for two seconds. Either that or I'll just do the wheel of names. 10 and 11. 10 and 11. Oh. 
I wish I was there to give him a great big hug. So I got 10, 11, 9, 8, 4. I'm going to call it soon. Which will be really, really kind of funny. You're the one to wrote down that number. I didn't. You drew that? Yeah. Wow. Good job. Now draw Eddie. Van Halen? Or no, Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah, right. If you can do that, you can do Eddie. All right, people. I'm going to call it in three. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll give I'm gonna give somebody else a chance too. Jake. Jake, stay farm, my insurance guy. Do you have a guess that Amy can tell me? Oh her facing a seizure just gets on to do that. God bless you. Yeah, I know, buddy. You'll be just fine. You'll be. I have complete faith that you will be. Well, okay. Uh, does anybody else want to take a guess for this uh, unusual bait? That's a mystery. I'm trying not to laugh. Three, two, one. I put this finger down. It's over. Anybody want to take a, a number? Pick a number. Cody's already getting something. Just pick a number between one and uh, one and fourteen. But well, yeah, one and one and what? Fifteen. Why did I say that? Pick a number between one and fifteen. Stop using that door. <sighs> if somebody picked up, we'll tell you. I'm gonna let Cody pick a number, and then we'll that'll end the auction, uh, the not auction, the uh, the giveaway. As soon as Cody posts the number, we'll give him time. It's a mystery bait. Yeah, put that uh, for you still. Somehow you see the numbers faster than I do. Let me know.
Should I show this bait after I announce the winner? No, I want the I want the I want the masses to decide. Should I show the bait after I announce the winner and not let it be such a mystery? <sighs> Who's setting off those fireworks? Neighbors. Okay, Jason, do you want to pick a number for Cody? I don't know if he, I wonder if he lost connection. Yes. Yes, what? Oh, they want you to. Okay. I'll show it once I announce the winner. Okay. We'll let Jason or Cody pick a number for Cody. I know Carl's in here watching and Hanson, but they're not putting numbers up. <laughs> no pain in the butt, you're rolling my bike. I don't know. I know who's winning it already. Unless somebody pops up a number for Cody. Anybody, pop a number up for Cody between 1 and 15. Unless somebody gets Cody. Unless somebody gets uh, Cody's. Uh, yeah, let's only post a number for Cody and gets it dead on. I know who it's gonna, who won it. <laughs> no judging. I was pe peeling green chilies. Okay. Well, Hanson, do you have a number? <laughs> Okay. All right. Now I'm ending at five, four, three, two, one, zero. Me. I did not write this down. Remember, Jen wrote this down. You don't believe me? Jen wrote this down. Look back. Okay, Cody said five. Well, number was 14. Gee, who was close to 14? It was, yeah, I know who was closest. The person that got closest to the number 14 was. <coughs> Let me double check, make sure. I... Soraya, with, she said 11. Or y'all want me to just try this again on the wheel of names? <laughs> this number thing's a pain in the butt. Just in case people lag. Maybe I should. Give me a sec. Yeah, that's true. So, all right. Soraya. Ouch. Soraya. Meh. Yeah, it was 14, unfortunately. Don't worry, I already know something else Cody's getting. So, Corey and Soraya won both giveaways. <laughs> Easy shipping. <laughs> um, that's kind of fun. What was that? That's funny. 
Two giveaways at huh? Yeah, I know. All right. I have to clips on that one. Um, uh, oh, that's uh, Travis's. All right. Give me a second, guys. I, I want to do one more giveaway, but I will do the wheel of names. All right. Let's see. Fred's not in here anymore, so we can get rid of Fred, unfortunately. So, and well, we got Soraya now. I, I think I just spelled Soraya's name wrong, but oh well. Corey. Mr. Carter's not in here. What, honey? What? Oh, Hanson. I already have Hanson. Okay. Oops. Yeah, Jason. Jason. Uh, okay. H hang on. I think I'm missing people here. I got Cody. I got Jason. Oh, Amy. You know what? I'll put State Farm bit there too. <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm writing down. We'll type it down. State Farm for Jake. Terry. Okay. Am I missing anybody? Let's see. Oh, what? Me deep in thought. Yeah, you smell the smoke burning too. Okay, I got Cody on there. I got Terry. I got Hanson. I got everybody. Okay. I even got a State Farm guy. I don't know how to share my screen. So. All right. We got Soraya, Corey, Jason, Amy, State Farm. <laughs> I, he's going to kill me. Terry, Hanson, and Cody. That's everybody, right? She said if, if she wins, she wants it to go to Corey's kid. If you want to, I'll let you, I'll let you read it. I don't know how to share my screen like an idiot. Hanson. We didn't even see what you were winning, did we? <laughs> huh? Yep, Chris Hanson just won this bait. <laughs> All right, Hanson. I'll send this stuff out with Goose's stuff. Uh, Yes, he has more stuff coming. So, all right. Yeah, I guess I could let you have a better look. I know it's kind of froggy, but oh well. That was not my intent. 
Uh oh, Sarai's gonna roll her eyes. Blood. <laughs> There you go, Mr. Chris Hansen. You can use this as a jerk bait or just cast out, really. Huh? No, she's when I put blood on the bait, she's like. <laughs> so, all right, guys. That was fun. Oh. Of course, Amy said that. Amy would tell me, do another, do another, do another, do another, until she would win something. So. Yep, Chris Hansen won that bait. So. All right, Corey, I'll get hooked on this here. So I have maracas. <laughs> See that, Jen? What can I say? Fish like it sometimes. And hey, honey, the bait you won has red glitter right there. What do you think that red glitter is supposed to represent? <laughs> Speaking of blood, these hooks are sharp. <laughs> no, I like Sarai. Oh, Sarai's got stuff coming. So does Corey. It's going to take a little time. You know. So Sarai is the, now officially the youngest person to ever win one of my giveaways. Let's all give her a victory. Bah! Bah. Thank you. <laughs> Audience? Well, he already said it. Bah. Well, yeah, he's the first one to say it. He said it before I did. This is fun. I like doing giveaways. Give it back to y'all. <laughs> Capricorn. Water goat. Uh, okay. <laughs> So I got three beats I gotta send these three big beats I gotta send out to uh Corey. I'm gonna need some bags. That one goes out to Mr. Hansen. I still think it's really cool. A father daughter duo won two giveaways. Uh, that's just cool. Awesome Terry, yeah, he knows how to have fun. There's Amy. We're getting all sorts of victory bass. So that just made my day for some reason. Don't know why. No wrong. Feather. No thanks needed. And we love you all very, very much. I can't wait for the day that the Lord blesses up me, being able to see Corey and Soraya and the family together and go fishing with them. I know it's going to happen, but we got the Lord's timing is perfect. You know, I mean, it took me a while to be able to go out to New Mexico and see Goose, you know, and what, and you know, it's well worth the wait. God, time is perfect. And there's a reason he had me wait that long, because I appreciate it even more. And I loved it even more. And I found out where I truly belong. So, if he sees fit for me to do so. So, well, if I move out west, I'll be closer to everybody. Except for Terry, but I don't think he wants to see me anyway. So, I'll just be further away from Fred. That sucks. 
Yeah, I'd be closer to Amy. I'd be closer to Patrick if I'm in New Mexico. Obviously, Jason, Brandon, the whole gang. Most of my fandom is out west. And my friends. I got a few on the East Coast. Yeah, Fred's one. Yep. Huh? Oh, you know him at Joyce Wood. So, all right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Keep on praying for Goose and uh, Cody. And, huh? Big Malone's watching. Hey, Basso and Big Malone. What's up, my buddy? Uh, how are you? Jake said, y'all. I don't trust staying anywhere near Amy. I would hear a banjo and I would start crying. Ding, 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 ding. Run, run. Squeal like a pig. <laughs> Travis, I got uh, most of your baits ready to go in the mystery tackle box. Well, not the box of hope. I'm sorry. Well, you already know one of your baits. I'm going to take it from the top of the water down to the bottom. So, you know two of them. Uh, the spinner jig. And the plop plop. So. <laughs> I'm playing around. She knows it. Ah. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. God bless each and every single one of you. Have a very safe 4th of July. And be responsible. Be around those people that are responsible as well. Take care of yourselves and each other. Keep praying for other wideners. I know I just said that. Anything else you would like to add? Bah! Yep. <laughs> Love you, Soraya. All right, guys. Till next time. Love you. Night. And remember, there's always new hope in Christ. I almost forgot to say that.